busted connections, dust-filled terminals, loose sockets? Why is it that floor boxes often become a total horror show? In conference rooms or classrooms, floor boxes for socket outlets and other connections like data and AV can be an absolutely brilliant solution for accessing power in the middle of a large space. However, through no fault of their own, there is a tendency for them to take a bit of abuse and get damaged. One of the reasons for this is that while they do give that handy access to power and data connections where it's needed, there's often a critical piece missing from the puzzle. How often do you find people having to scramble around in an undignified fashion under the table to try and plug their laptop in, access a hardwired internet connection, and hook up to a monitor? Allow me to introduce you to the final and often missing piece of the underfloor wiring system, the desktop socket. This is the new Icon outlet from Marshall Tuflex, and it's got some brilliant features that make it easier to connect up and will help to stop users from taking their frustrations out on the hardware. Make sure you stay on till the end of the video to see which element of it has had a major upgrade. Starting at the pointy end, we've got this plug. Now, there seems to be a bit of a disconnect here between what's on the end of the socket and what's in the floor box, but that's because these are designed to connect to this RCBO feed unit, and using the inline plugs is perfect in places you've got an installation where you won't be disconnecting and reconnecting them regularly. There's both a 4-gang and an 8-gang version of this feed unit available. However, there's also a simpler option if you're going straight into a floor box more or less permanently, and that's this lead that has the good old BS1363 plug top on one end and a socket at the other, which you can hook directly to the Icon desktop socket outlet. This allows you to plug directly into a socket outlet if the RCD protection has been provided at the consumer unit or the distribution board. Moving up the flex, which is half a meter long and has a chunky 1.5 millimeter squared CSA, we get to the unit itself. They're available in either white or black and come in one or two gang variants. They're a really nice solid coloured unit with rounded corners and they're designed to sit on this flattened section which holds the front at an angle of about 45 degrees, giving you easy access to the sockets without putting additional strain on the leads where they enter the plugs. The flattened section also has a pad fixed on it that, while not sticky, offers an area of grip to the outlet, so it's not inclined to slide away from you every time you connect to it. And it also protects the surface of the desk. If, however, you want a bit more reassurance that it's not going to go anywhere, you can use this clamp to fix it down to the desk, and again, the pad will protect the desk from any damage. Staying on the outer casing, the two-gang socket has this part of the cover that unclips and gives access to these two modules on the front. These are keystone modules, and on the basic unit, they're just blanked off. Now, while you probably wouldn't do this yourself, these are detachable and can be configured with further connections. Variants are available with either two data points or one data point and a HDMI connection. This latter is perfect for spaces with a large screen on one wall. In one outlet, you've got power, data, and a link to the screen, no more relying on iffy wireless signals and connections to get your all-important presentation up on the board. Now, a quick word on the USB outlets. There's two levels of power rating available. At the lower end, there's 18 watts of charging available. Then there's a seriously upgraded version with 65 watts of charging mayhem available, which is more than enough to provide super fast charging to the latest devices and will even charge a laptop. That's some serious power for a device built into a socket outlet. Coming to the sockets, the one gang version is unswitched, while the two gang version has separately switched outlets, which also feature these really cool blue LED indicators to show when they're on. But if we come round to the side, you'll see these little red buttons. So what are they for? These are the reset buttons for the internal fuses inside here. Those fuses are rated at 3.15 amps. So if you've overloaded the socket outlets, they'll pop out. And then once you've unplugged the overload and it's all cooled down a bit, you can reset them by pushing the button back in. Now, I'm sure you're asking yourself, why on earth would they be rated at such a low value when we can plug an appliance in with a 13 amp fuse in it? Well, there's a really good answer to that question, and we've covered that in another video, which you can either see by clicking here or in the description, along with links for more information on the underfloor wiring range from Marshall Tuflex and our free training package to help you with your CPD. All that remains in this video is to say, thank you very much for watching.